What is up everybody? Welcome back to another one. Back down at the coast. The sun is coming up and it's finally a little chilly. Chilly enough to wear I have a sweatshirt on, so that's cool. But we're gonna go out and do a little weight fishing today and uh had to come down here. Won't be able to get back here for a little while. Baby is on the way, so gotta come down here and put some fish in the freezer for the next month or two. Uh, so hopefully we can get on them. Going to a spot that we normally find some tail and reds in. So hopefully we can get on some reds today. Maybe a few trout on some reefs. But uh, y'all stay tuned and we'll see what happens. All right guys, sunrise coming up. We got the uh, three inch Miss Piggy and today we're using the Sarge Wingman. This is a 6'2 rod and we got it paired with the Bates Hundo. So let's get in the water and see what we can find. We found a school of little trout out here guys. bunch of little guys but they're in here thick pretty keeper hunters on over there too we are in the trout Ladyfish?
Yep. Would have been my limit. Oh, gaff time. Back at the house, got three reds and four trout. This is the Pro Series by Bubble Blade. Gonna knock the sides off these redfish and then clean these trout. All right, so I just, just like a crappie. Put down to that backbone. I'm gonna keep them on the half throw, so. Take it off just like that and then we'll cut our ribs out. And that's a clean redfish on the half shell. So we'll repeat that process a couple times. Take the throat. That. That's how I clean a redfish. Now a trout is just as easy. Uh, clean a trout so we'll get these cleaned up and then i'll see you guys in the kitchen tonight when we get home and uh we'll be eating fresh fish for dinner we're gonna do a very simple but delicious lunch with redfish uh these were on the half shot i just took them off the skin and we're gonna do just black and redfish over white rice so i like to cut my fillets into bite-sized portions. There's a rib bone right there. That's all clean, so cut it into not bite-sized portions, just meal size, plate size portions, however you want to call it. So I'll cut these in half. Now we're gonna hit them with some Critter glitter fish and fowl and a little bit of garlic salt. But the fish and fowl is really good for blackening. And we're gonna melt some butter and a little bit of oil in this pan. And uh, you want it pretty hot. You want it to where it's smoking a little bit. Cause to blacken it, uh, it takes heat to really properly blacken uh, fish. So a little bit of oil little bit of butter, critter glitter fish and fowl. And guys, uh, we're working on another spice. We're actually gonna take a spice out of the lineup. Uh, so y'all, if you have tried any of my spices, y'all leave in the comments which one you take out to bring in a new one. Uh, the new one is awesome and y'all are gonna love it, but we have to get rid of one to bring in the new one. So y'all leave a comment on this video 
if you've ever tried our spices, which one you'd take away, uh, which one is your least favorite out of all five. So we're gonna hit it with this. This is one of my favorites. We're not getting rid of fish and fowl because it's sticking around. Um, we're gonna hit it with this and blacken up this fish real quick. And then we're gonna do a little taste test. Put it over some white rice. It's really good, it doesn't sound good, but I hope we have some Italian dressing uh, over the white rice and then lay your blackened fish over that. It is delicious. So we're gonna take some Italian dressing, got the boys' plates done. Gonna put a little Italian dressing on the rice. Taste test, blackened redfish, white rice, and Italian dressing, and malt man, curry glitter, fish and fowl. One out of ten. Super clean, super fresh. Uh, I'll add to that these redfish were just a couple inches over the legal just a couple inches over the legal um length limit so they're pretty small redfish and i'll tell you that they are more tender than a big bull red uh this is delicious i'll give it a just an eight seven out of ten that wants mine oh no he wants to drink eight seven out of ten delicious hope you guys enjoyed this if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post an, when I post another video. Uh, it is hunting season, so it's probably the last fishing video you'll see for a while. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Y'all stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.